Hey guys, John from FlyMyCalf.com, and today we're going to go over how to brief up a jet plate. So how are you actually going to brief this approach uh, when you're in the airplane and you're getting close to the airport and you want to go over things, get them in your head before you actually get vectored around for the approach? So to brief up a jet plate, it's a lot easier than briefing an FAA plate just because the way things flow really nicely on a Jepson plate. So we've got Charlotte, North Carolina, ILS or localizer runway 18 center. It's the first thing we want to say. Next, page 11-3, 22nd of April, 2016. We're checking the page number and the uh, last uh, amendment date. And that's just in case you have another person in the airplane with you that's also looking at the approach. You want to verify that you're both looking at the same thing and that both your plates are current. Next is going to be coming down here to your localizer frequency. So you're going to say, okay, loc frequency is 111.3. And this is typically where I would point to my nav radio, whether it's in the standby or active frequency right now, I would point to it and just confirm that I have that set right. Final approach course inbound, 183. Great, we're just reminding ourselves, maybe we're gonna bug that right now or confirm that that's the proper final approach course in our G530 or G1000 or FMS or whatever we happen to be using for our flight. Glide slope intercept at OZG 3000 feet um, or minimum at OZG 3000 feet, however you wanna think about it. ILS um, DA is 942, 200 feet AGL, airport elevation 748 feet, touchdown zone elevation 742 feet, MSA based off the Charlotte VOR 3800 feet, all quadrants. Missed approach instructions, climb to 3000 feet, outbound on the Charlotte, radial 181 to Denny intersection, 12.7 DME from Charlotte, and hold or as directed by ATC. Most likely you're just going to get vectored. And then any other pertinent notes while we're up here. So DME or radar is required, will not be circling at night, simultaneous approaches are in use, and the visual glide slope indicator and ILS glide path are not coincident. So that's a good note there. Coming down here, there's not a whole lot to go over in the plan view unless you see really any big obstacles that you want to talk about. I, the DME is paired with the localizer. That's a good thing to note. So you're using the DME off the loc. You're not using the DME off the VOR. So you don't have to have two frequencies tuned in. Next thing down here, we'll look at the approach timing if it's applicable. So we have DME on the airplane and we are in radar contact. We're shooting an ILS approach. Don't really have to use timing, but just as a backup, we will. So we'll go ahead and brief that. At OZG, we'll start our clocks. And at 140 knots, it'll be two minutes, 55 seconds until uh, we get to our missed approach point. Next, what kind of lighting do we have? Well, we have Harrell runway lighting with Mauser approach lights and a Pappy on the right. And lastly, we're gonna go ahead and brief uh, how long our runway is and our expected taxi route. So let's do this two ways. For simple sake, we're just gonna say we're parking right there. So we're landing runway 18 center. We'll expect to exit off the left, maybe uh, Echo 5. Uh, we'll be aware of hotspot two there and then take uh, Echo over to the ramp. Uh, that would be simple. Uh, let's say we have to go to customs today, then it's going to be landing runway 18 center, 10,000 feet available, and we'll exit Echo 5, be aware of hotspot 2, then cross runway 5, taxi via Alpha, over to Charlie, we'll be aware of hotspot 1, we'll taxi via Charlie on down to the holding point of 36 right, and then cross 36 right over to customs. That's pretty much it for briefing up our jet plates. Uh, we'll run it through it one more time now, just nice fluid motion. So we're gonna say Charlotte, North Carolina, ILS or localizer runway 18 center, page 11-3, 22nd of April, 2016. That checks with uh, our co-pilot or our uh, safety pilot. Cool. Localizer frequency 111.3, final approach course inbound 183. Glide slope intercept at OZG 3000 feet. The ILS DA is 942 feet. And the airport elevation is 748, touchdown zone 742, MSA based off the Charlotte VOR, 3,800 feet, all quadrants. Missed approach instructions, climb to 3,000 feet, outbound on the Charlotte, radial 181 to Denny intersection, 12.7 DME from Charlotte, and hold or as directed by ATC. DME or radar is required, circling is not allowed at night, simultaneous approaches are in use, and the VGSI and ILS glide path are not coincident. 
The DME is coming off the localizer, and we uh, will use timing just as a backup here. We'll start our timers at OZG, final approach fix. And at 140 knots, we'll expect 2 minutes 55 seconds uh, to our missed approach point. We have Harrell lighting on this runway with Mauser approach lights and Pappy on the right. And we're looking for uh, 2400 RVR or half mile viz for CAT C and D. Landing runway 18 center. It's going to be 10,000 feet long, exit off to the left, probably Echo 5, aware of hotspot 2, and then Echo on over to the ramp. And then if you're flying with Sage Pilot, at that point you could ask if he's got any questions about anything, you guys can talk about anything that you don't agree on, figure out exactly what it is that you guys are going to be doing so you're both on the same page, and that's pretty much it for briefing up jet plate. Pretty nice, smooth, fluid motion, uh, and we'll, in another video here, cover how to brief up an FA plate, very similar, just a little bit more hippity hoppy. Uh, to get every all the information in there that you need. Thanks so much for watching, guys. If you have any questions at all, leave them in the comments below. Let us know if you have any other uh, ways to brief up plates in the comments. We can talk about all of that. Make sure you give us a thumbs up, a like, subscribe to our channel so you keep up with all our latest videos. Check out our Patreon page and support us if you'd like. We'd really appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, and if you can't fly every day, then fly 8 We'll see you all next time.